Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Naughty and Capricorn, my lovely butterfly, my lovely rose. I am about to do you a general message. You know, I'm gonna let the cards fly and I got to expose the lies. I got to tell you the truth that other people don't want to tell you. But anyway, before I do all that, you know what I got to do. Let's go. God, I come to you in prayer, asking that you open up my third eye so that I can give Capricorn all the secrets that they need to know. All the things of the things of the things that they need to be aware of. I also ask that any energy or any entities that may be trying to basically linger about, I ask that you send them back to hell. Amen. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Love and light, abundance and protection. Now let's get into it. I'm also, I'm getting, get you a clarification, but also tap into the love message first. Okay, let's see. Give me a, clarify this situation for Capricorn. Clarify this situation to Capricorn. Give Capricorn some clarification. What does Capricorn, this wanted to fall out, but I'm not going to take it. Give Capricorn some clarification. Clarify. Clarify. Ooh, clarify. I'm already seeing. It's going to be a no, okay? I'm already feeling like somebody want to come talk to you. Somebody want to come back into your life. God is saying no. It's not the right time, and it never will be the right time. Somebody's about to come and tell you something. But I'm all, but, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, the reason why this is a no, a narcissist is about to come back into your life. They also have somebody else. Somebody is in the middle. They have a third party. This person wants to come and put you back into a third party. So caution. Mm -hmm. Find out more information and don't work overwork yourself. You are about to get your heart broken by this person who is about to come and confess that they want to be back with you. Confess that they want to take you on a date or something like that. But they have somebody in the middle. You will be a third party to this narcissist. Ew. Ew. But God is saying you may need to go get you a pet. Find something else to love on. Because um <laughs> this person is coming to put you back into a third party. Damn. Oh, hell no. Ugh. Give me some love messages for Capricorn. 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 Give me some love messages. What does Capricorn need to know in love? What does Capricorn need to know in love? I'm hearing, be careful who you love. They may just be the one that makes you want to put on those white gloves. This person is going to make you want to kill them. This person who's going to put you in a third party is going to make you want to kill them. Do not lose your freedom because somebody can't love you right. Okay, Capricorn? Don't give them the satisfaction of ruining your life. Just don't give this person a chance. Don't waste your time. Mm -mm. See, this person is going to come back one in a different one in a second chance with you. They're going to come trying to express love, making it seem like, oh, they're the one for you and y'all belong together. They're going to want you to keep an open mind. They're going to wear a false mask like they're your true love. But God is saying, love yourself first because he and because he is calling a soulmate in to you. 
but call your own soulmate in because this person ain't it. This person is going to try to come back in with a bunch of fire, a bunch, a bunch of romantic feelings. They're going to want you to try again with them. Oh, baby, let's try this again. Let's let's start this love over. But real love, the love that you that you deserve, is worth waiting for. This person is not it. This person's not it. They want to come back and deceive you. But keep in mind, they already have somebody. And I can see why you would want to bust this person upside their head and leave them bleeding in the middle of the street. Because how dare they? How dare they want to hurt you like this? How dare they want to put you in competition? How dare they? Give me some more information for Capricorn. Give me some more information for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to be aware of? This person is being used for their money. Or they're going to try to come in and use you for their money. For your money. But they also may be using this person for their money. Because this person is a narcissist. This person's ego is on 10 and they most likely are codependent and expect people to take care of them. This person's ignorant. This person has ill intentions. <laughs> this may be somebody's first name or their first name or somebody's last name. But God is saying, no matter what you go through, the road to success is meant for you. So lock in and focus. Don't focus on this person. Focus on yourself. This person is going to come back because you make them feel better. They feel a soul connection with you, but yet they're with somebody else. This person is your ex. God is saying, X them out of your life. This may be somebody's first name or their first name or somebody's last name. This person is love sick over you. They want you back in their life, but they also have somebody else. So this person can go to hell. Very much so. This may be somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. This person really needs your loving. They just miss the connection y'all have. They, they miss siphoning your energy. They miss what you did and, and how you made them feel. They miss your sex. This person may come back in trying to come up off of you. Come up off of your downfall. This person has a mistress, a side lover. Confirmation again. This person. <laughs> Ooh, we. This person is a big lip liar. <laughs> but God is saying, you came from nothing, but you're something. You over here bossing up. But yet this person feels like you're theirs. This person is a narcissist with somebody else. They want to put you in a third party because they want you and the other person. They want you and the other person. But God is saying continue to move on to bigger and better things. Because if you give this person a chance, you're going to be crying. And God said crying isn't an, uh, an, an option. This person, this narcissist may also be crying over you, crying over the fact that you may not take them. You may not take them back. You may not allow them to put you in a third party. You're not going to allow this person to make you a side lover. Confirmation. This person may not have a house or a car. When I tell you, they may need to come, they may want to come back into your life to use you. This person, the relationship won't last. This person is also stuck on you. They may be dealing with a fling too. This person is stuck on you. Time apart makes my heart grow fonder. No, thank you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is not your person. This is not God sent. Okay? It's not your person. This person may be trying to come back into your life for revenge, for you leaving them alone. 
or they may want to re re reconcile with you. Like I said, they want to start over. This may be somebody's first name, your first name, or somebody's last name. But this person is a gambler. They gamble your heart. They gamble your feelings. They gamble money. They spend money faster than they get it. This person is vindictive. This person is easy. This may be somebody's first name, somebody's um, your first name, or somebody's last name. But you're manifesting in new love, but we saw that. But this person is a narcissist, and you are a professional at breaking down a narcissist through destroying their ego. This person thought that you would never walk away from them. They thought you would forever be a side chick or a side dude. But you learned the lesson, so the same cycle doesn't repeat itself. You made an ass of this person. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> this may be somebody's first name or your first name or somebody's last name this is a dead end situation a dead end relationship let it go and losing you killed them this person doesn't want to be cut off <laughs> but they're cut off they're not real and you're real this person's an F boy and an F girl they think they're super popular. They may just be popular, but you're popular as well. This person wants to come back and turn something into nothing into something, but God is telling you, don't do it. This person is going to want to take you out on a date. Don't do it. It's manipulation. God said, keep going. Leave this person behind because this person is a foe. Cut, cut ties. They have a fake smile, fake personality. Crooked teeth, but all I hear is lies coming out of this person's mouth they they're jealous and they gossip amongst their friends and their families and their lovers because you are a side piece this person may just be going through a breakup but remember this person is a narcissist so they have plenty more where they came from be your own hero god is saying save yourself you have a pretty smile you do. And someone is lackluster, not a star. They're dull. This person is also vain. If something doesn't feel right, it isn't right. This person is cheap. They have money problems. They're going to break from you. This person is hoping that you keep your head up in the clouds, that you don't see them for who they, who they are. This person wants you to submit to them and be a dummy for them. This person uses people and plays people to feel better about themselves because they genuinely have low self-esteem. God is saying he wants you to stay focused because you never know when it's your turn because you're bossing up, okay? This person is going to use you to look like the man or the woman. And they're mad because I just exposed them and they're also mad that you realized who they were and that they were caught. You took your power back from this person, leaving them devastated and depressed. They are nervous about losing you. So if you're still with this person, they know that they're losing you. But if you're not with this person, they know that they have lost you. This person has nothing to offer you, my love. They're a liar. They're opportunists. They're a player. They're unstable, codependent, and needy. Keep this person far away from you. This may be somebody's first name or their last name or your first name. This person is going to try to sweep you off your feet to manipulate you. But God is also bringing in somebody who is going to be good for you and is going to sweep you off your feet at, at the in divine timing. OK, this per, I told you this person wanted you to be a dummy for them. I wanted you to be a fool for me. This person is hiding options from you. A bunch of mistresses, a bunch of side lovers currently with somebody. But you're an empath and you felt that. That's why you let them go. That's why you let them go. You may be slim or they may be slim. They're going through legal issues right now. So I'm hearing if they're going through, if they were married, they're going through a divorce. If they, you know, child support, anything legal. This person wants your attention, but only so that they can use you. This person is running from their problems. They're a loser. They lost, they're going through loss and lack, and they've lost you. So see this person as an enemy, a snake. 
because this person is not going to let go of people. But they're going to lie to you like, oh, I let these people go so I can have just you. They're, they, no. 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 They're lying. This person, and like I said, they're going through lack. This person is going through a lot of karma and major burdens at the cost of sabotaging their relationship with you. <laughs> for playing with you. For playing you. <laughs> Dummy. That's what they get. God don't like ugly. And he damn sure don't like people who play with people. Give me some more messages for Capricorn. Give me some more messages for Capricorn. Give me some messages for Capricorn. They be making up lies. This person's a liar. But I also want to make up with you. <laughs> no, thank you. God said you know yourself now and you also know this person. So when you know better, you do better. God is saying that your soulmate is coming in divine timing. But your past person, they watch you. So God said, don't believe a thing this person said. They are a liar. Girlfriend knows about you and watches you. I told you this person has somebody already. Girlfriend or boyfriend. They have somebody already. They want to put you in a third party. They want you in this third party because they're super egotistical. They also have anger issues. They act like they care about your feelings, but they don't. So endings and new beginnings. So end this cycle so that you can step into your new cycle in this person they can't get enough of the taste of your punani or your mandingo this person thinks about you sexually is obsessed with you sexually they want you and somebody else but it's still superficial they want you because that you make them look good and you fuck good and they're using somebody else for income but you're a gift from god and this person is seeing that you were a gift from god to them and they lost it so now they're extremely nervous because everything in their life is going to crap and they know that they, that they can't get you back. Something isn't right. This person is going to put you in a third party. They're a liar. Your beauty entraps them. You may be very handsome and very beautiful, Capricorn. But that's the only reason why they want you is because of superficial reasons. It is. It's not on a far, it's not on a true foundation. So before I get into this hidden truth, let me just go ahead and break it down. You have a narcissist, a narcissistic ex who wants you and wants the third party too. They're going to put you in a third party along with a bunch of other people on the side. A bunch. It's not it's not just going to be you and somebody else. You're going to have you, somebody else, Keisha, Misha, Daryl, Dennis, everybody all up in your mix. This person is going through a lot of. You know, tower moments, they're going through legal issues, they're going through lack, they're losing money, they can't keep money because they're always spending it. I'm hearing they also spend it on other people, so they're a trick too for some people. Or, and for some people, they just breadcrumb them and just use sex to obtain the things that they need out of them. This person's a user. They're going to try to come and use you. Mainly, they may even try to stay and live up off of you. They are hobosexual. This person is an attractive hobosexual. They stalk you. This person has nothing to offer. They have anger problems. But God is saying they want you to be a fool for them too. They want you to not use your head. They want you to fall into the delusion that they give you. They want to act like, oh, they broken up with this person. Then y'all can try again and start over. But it's all an illusion. This person is very easy. An attention seeker. A big lip liar. The relationship won't last. If you start over again with this person, they're going to do the same thing. And then they're going to ghost you and leave you sad and used up but God is giving you the chance to work on yourself so that you can bring in somebody who's worth your time who is actually your soulmate because this person ain't your soulmate they ain't what does Capricorn need to know what does Capricorn need to know what does Capricorn need to know this person knows that they messed up everything they know they can't get you back they know that and they, they're like, will we ever be together again? No. You were the best thing in this person's life. And they knew that. But they knew that and still chose to put you in third parties. They know that they crossed the line with you. And they're going to lie about becoming a better person. 
Give me some more information for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? That they regret lying to you, but they're going to come lying some more. <laughs> that they're starting to understand the connection. They understand that you were God sent. And they play they self. They also feel you even though that you're apart. You make this person feel intoxicated. Your beauty traps them. You, you entrap this person. They're obsessed with you. They hid who they really were from you. They were fake. They're a narcissist. They wear a mask with everybody. They didn't want to tell you how they felt. So they just manipulated you. And they wonder if you're happy without you without them. Because they see that you are happy without them. They left you before you could leave them. A narcissist. They were a player. But they're going to come back. Telling you that they want to be more than friends. Telling you that they can't stop thinking about you. Telling you that they hope that you can forgive them. But this person knew exactly what they were doing. That is why they're afraid to contact you. Because they know they would never feel that way again with you. They also know that you're leaving them behind. They wish they could take everything back. But baby, it's a wrap for them. Yeah, it's a wrap. But anyway, I'm so happy. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get your angel numbers because... Let's, let's just sweep this energy under the rug. Give me some angel numbers for Capricorn. Give me some angel numbers for Capricorn. Angel number zero, you have upcoming shifts coming. So that means you may get a new job. That means that you're going to get a bunch of opportunities. That means everything in your life is about to switch, shift into a better dimension. Angel number zero, zero, God is saying continue to manifest your goals. Because angel number 222, you are in line. You are in alignment. You are literally on the right path. Literally. The Nat spirit. You're going through a spiritual cleansing and renewal. God is saying cleanse this person out of your life. Cleanse the toxic people out of your life. And continue on your path. Because you're going through tra change, transition, and progressiveness. And I, and I almost said train. So some of y'all are traveling more or y'all will be moving. Okay. And uh, you have the sun spirit, power, positivity, and clarity. You, you, your intuition is being heightened. You are powerful. Like the power within you is, is heightening. Everything is heightening. And stay positive. Stay positive. I thank you for coming to watch Capricorn. And I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you got the messages that you needed. Because, baby, this is not needed. And if you haven't heard this today, I love you and I admire your strength as well as your beauty and your handsomeness. And you don't need somebody trying to put you, make you a side person, baby. It's either you or nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also appreciate all the support that y'all give me on the daily. It's beautiful. But you can also, you know, join my membership now. Yeah, become a part of my soul tribe as well as drop a donation or two. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.